Hey, good morning, guys. It's Greg from Trading the Pips. So today, I want to talk to you about Real Estate Investment Trust, Washington Prime Group. Hey, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and get into this particular stock, right? So we have Washington Prime Group up on the on the screen, and this is the um, the daily chart. And as you can see, the price is two dollars and fifteen cent. They've lost four cent in value as of the day, and then after hours, they lost another four cent of their value, right? Or negative one point eight three percent, right? We're gonna move on to the weekly chart, and as you can see, they're down or they're up two cent or point nine four percent, and then the monthly chart they're down 67 cent or negative 23.76 percent and then the three month chart they're down negative eight dollars and four cent or 78.90 percent of their value and then the yearly chart they're down four dollars and 68 cent or negative 68.51 percent of their value so what's going on with Washington Prime Group I'm gonna go ahead and click on our NASDAQ website and as you know what happened the Mall Focus Real Estate Investment Trust, or REIT, Washington Prime Group, New York Stock Exchange, ticker symbol is WPG, lost nearly 30% of its value in the first hour of trading on February 16th. There was no question about why the company um, filed a very concerning update with the SEC, right? So basically what they're saying is that, we'll just go right there for now, um, the company basically did not pay a 23.2 million dollar interest payment due on February 15th. Washington Prime Group has 30 days to resolve the issue. So after that, Washington Prime Group decided to go over and basically put a forbearance agreement in place to their lenders and their creditors, right? So as previously reported on March 16th, 2021, they started a forbearance agreement and they've been pushing it back ever since. So as you can see, the forbearance agreement on earlier April 28th, 2021, basically is going to expire on this date and we're going to see what happens. They're probably going to push it back even further. Right now is April 18th, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen. So they're trying to scathe off bankruptcy, which is probably going to happen. We can go over here to Yahoo Finance. And as you can see, Washington Prime Group set to seek $150 million in bankruptcy loan. And then we go over here, and then we have a shareholder alert. Our Pomerantz Law Firm investigates claims on behalf of investors of Washington Prime Group. So we have investors that are upset, right? They're, they're extremely upset. We have a recommendation rating of whole because we don't know exactly what's going on. This is what... Um, Yahoo Finance has given us or the, the analysts on Yahoo Finance and then we can actually go over to their website and I always tell you guys hey man visit the company's website find out about it. we know that it's a nice looking website so on and so forth but we have our investors relations tab we have our financial information tab so we can go up on the financial information we can look at SEC filings click on it and then we can scroll down and you can see that's the 8k which is the form that I pulled up right here right so this is the 8K form, and then they have four, they have quite a few forms, another 8K, so on and so forth. So you can go through, find out what's going on with the, this company, and make your judgment on whether or not you would like to actually invest or, or dump your shares, so on and so forth, right? So I like to actually go to the TradingView website and just take a look. We know that Washington Prime Group did a reverse split back in December of 2020, but before then, the share price was actually 50 cent, 40 cent, so on and so forth. It kind of bounced around between uh, 50 and 60 cent. I actually was able to get in um, early 2020, I want to say, and um, I think we got in right around this range, um, but it was like 60 something cent. But as you can see, it says $5.93. So the charts are not going to reflect pre. Um, reverse splits, right? They're not gonna ref they're not gonna show that. They're gonna gonna show you the actual prices that it is right now, right? So when it goes back via reverse split, it's gonna say five dollars, ten dollars, so on and so forth. So right now, if we have five point nine six or five dollars and ninety six cent, if we go back pre reverse split, we're gonna say hey, they did a reverse split of one and ten. It's gonna be fifty nine cent. So we got in about sixty three cent, and as you can see, it did run up at some point. That would have equaled a dollar, so that means we actually got in after that. But because um, we didn't go through any run-ups until around this phase, right? So around November time frame, 
right around right before the reverse split it started going up in value and this would equal 70 cent on up into 90 cent plus goes up into a dollar 30 which is 13 dollars and at this point we had already got out of our share so anybody that watched my previous videos about Washington Prime Group you know what that we were already out we started doing day trading with it and then once they did their reverse split the prices sunk down right so we have prices down back down to six dollars and twenty six cent or the equivalent of sixty two cent right and then it ran up again so anybody that was in and went ahead and sold their shares they actually made quite a bit of money hopefully they didn't hold their shares and as you can see it started to drop and ever since then it's been all the way down to bottom so right now at two dollars and nineteen cent that would be the equivalent of twenty one cent a share so hopefully you guys that were holding on to a nice bag of WPG got out of it anyway we're gonna go ahead and scroll back down to our our uh, Robinhood chart and one thing you're gonna find out if you bought shares prior to the reverse split you're not gonna have any history at all in regards to your WPG shares right the reason why is because they change up everything once they do the reverse split in order to find out what you did you would have to go back in your messages and then go through your history and it's going to be long right you have to look at all your messages just to find what you did with that particular company that did a reverse split so another thing I want to talk about is just in case you guys do actually still have shares of WPG and you believe that it may go up in value and you want are wanting to make a little bit of money from this they still are doing option trade so trade option WPG and as you can see for, for you guys that don't really know what you're looking at this is an option chain right and this is saying with where you're willing to actually sell your shares off for so we have buy sell call put right so what you would do if you owned 100 shares or more you would click on sell and then you leave call set up this is saying that this particular contract is going to expire on April 21st or May 21st I'm sorry and this is the sell price that you're willing to sell at two dollars and fifty cents so you're willing to sell at two dollars and fifty cents they call it a strike price and they're willing to give you forty cent per share so if you own a hundred shares they're gonna give you forty dollars up front for WPG to say hey I'm willing to sell at two dollars and fifty cents so let's say you got in at at two dollars and you're saying that you'll sell at two dollars and fifty cent well the difference between two dollars and two dollars and fifty cent is fifty cent right so that's fifty dollars that's a fifty dollar difference on a hundred shares plus they are willing to give you forty cent per share times one hundred shares which is forty dollars so if you own one hundred shares you're gonna make fifty dollars for the sale if it goes up to two dollars and fifty cent plus they're gonna give you another forty dollars so that's ninety dollars that you could possibly make just by selling at two dollars and fifty cent now what's the backlash on this if it doesn't make it up to two dollars and fifty cent you still get to keep the forty bucks you just don't make the sale from two to two fifty the price let's say the price starts dropping it goes down to two dollars in itself hey regardless you keep your forty dollars you just didn't make your sale so once this expires on May 21st you're able to then go through and sell your shares for whatever price you want to sell them for but the good thing is you had already pocketed forty dollars you can go up in value and say hey man I'm willing to sell at three dollars and they'll give you less twenty eight cent or twenty eight dollars so it's up to you whether or not you think Washington Prime Group is going to go um, continue to run and go up in value or whether or not they're going to go through bankruptcy and plumbing they stop at pretty much four dollars four dollars and fifty cents so they won't go higher than that as of right now so we don't know exactly what's going to go on with Washington Prime Group and for people that want to actually just sell off their shares I said if you want to sell them off at two dollars because you had got them at a higher price right now you can sell for two dollars and they'll give you 58 cents or 58 dollars up front right so by May 21st if the shares are two dollars let's say you had got in at two dollars and thirty cents and it's two dollars and fifteen cent right now so you're gonna pocket some money you wouldn't to sell at two dollars they're gonna give you 58 cents so that's more than what you it's like 20 cent more than where you actually had paid so they're gonna you're gonna make some money off this particular deal it's not gonna be a lot maybe 20 bucks and some change but you're still gonna come off that's if you own a hundred shares so so the guys that own 
you know thousands of shares it's still a way to get out of a bad situation um, if you don't think Washington Prime Group is going to run right so just keep taking a look at and doing your research and finding out what's going on with this particular company man once again it was it was a nice promising company but hey right now they're not paying their bills and it's a good possibility they're going to start selling off their properties you know that's usually what happens anyway you guys have a great day i hope you guys continue to like subscribe comment on the channel we're going to continue to bring these videos to you, you guys have a great one bye